I'm Gary Panetta. I'm Danielle Hatch. And this is River City Roundup, and we're in downtown Peoria in front of the Spirit of Peoria on the waterfront. And Right, we're here because Steamboat Festival is starting uh, on Thursday and runs throughout the weekend. And we wanted to get on a boat. Oh, we wanted to get on a steamboat. But, but we is, don't have one here. We don't have one here. So the next best thing is the Spirit of Peoria, which I guess is a paddle boat and not technically a steamboat. And it's about ready to leave, so come on, let's get, yeah, let's let's get not it. miss the boat. Right. <laughs> I can't see anything through that brown muck. You know, I actually think that when photographers take pictures of this river, they, they tint it blue to make it look more... Is that true? Yes, it is true. This is just like the Titanic, the staircase. <laughs> yeah, and this dining hall, just like the Titanic. Yikes! <laughs> yeah, or just throw something in. Don't you have the urge just to throw something in or just oh to God. jump in? I mean, that is no, just... No, not to jump in. You can splash. I think that's our safety boat. Where's our safety <laughs> boat? Just, just that one for all these passengers. <laughs> See, it is like the Titanic because what they do is they only have one boat and yet they have all these people on well, it. Well, you're out of luck. Women and children first. I just noticed the captain walked by. It had to be your imagination. No, it was the captain. I, so I'm wondering who's driving the boat right now. Maybe it's on autopilot. Maybe we'll go up there and there'll be like a skeleton like hanging onto the thing. <laughs> it couldn't have been the captain. It was. Then we'll go in. Okay. okay. Hi, Hi guys. Alex. Hello. <laughs> this is Alex Greaves, yeah. uh, captain of the ship. And we saw you wandering around uh, downstairs and we wondered what was going on up here. Who was driving the boat? Well, it... we're in good hands. My uh, first mate, uh, Rick Campbell, was at the wheel. Oh, hello, Rick. Hello. <laughs> So why is this so huge? Well, um, originally the the, uh, the helm was so large because the the rudders they were actually steered by a cable system that ran through the boat, and you needed all the leverage you could get. So the wheels were as big as possible because it took uh, some big muscles wow. to turn the wheel. But the uh, unique, unique thing about this vessel, it is a true paddle wheel. That is our only means of propulsion. Is that large red wheel back there? And is it like the electricity? Yeah, it's diesel electric. Uh, we're not steam. Is this um, impressive when you you tell you know girls, hey, hey. I have a boat? And, you know, I mean, is that well, I am married, but uh, yeah, oh, okay. Well, well wasn't, <laughs> were you single at any time when you were a captain? No, I actually wasn't. But uh, oh, okay. it is it is unique. I mean, to drive a uh, drive a paddle wheeler, where you know, licensed to carry almost 500 passengers, okay. and. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> but we saw one lifeboat. Right. But there are a lot of people on board. So exactly. Does that mean some of us are expendable, or no, what happens? No, that is our rescue boat in case somebody would ever uh, fall overboard. What's the closest thing to an iceberg that you might encounter on the? <laughs> well, uh, actually, we do cruise um, through the holidays. Uh, we tie in with the Festival of Lights, and we have a lot of bus groups. And we cruise uh, um, when when we do have some ice on the water. If it gets too thick, we can't cruise because we'll just destroy our paddle wheel. Now, now fortunately, we have a steel hull. So, uh, well, so did the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Between the buoy systems, which um, is the most important, we're guaranteed at least nine feet of water. The average depth outside of that buoy system is only 18 inches deep. So you could theoretically, you could walk to shore anywhere outside of the buoy system. Now, uh, when I say walk to shore, you have to be careful because 18 inches is when you first, when you, when you, when you reach down and you'll hit the first layer of silt. Then you'll probably go another 18 inches in soft silt. So okay. it'd be very, very difficult to walk to shore uh, in in that soft silt. Just wondering how fast this ship can run. Well, the Spirit of Peoria, its average speed is about seven to eight miles an hour. Okay, we were guessing 30 when we were on it's the deck. You seem so to be really off. clipping along. Right, right. What's this? Uh, that is our telegraph. Oh, that is our speed control. That that oh, okay. shows our speed win right now. Don't touch that lever. Really yeah. not bump it then. <laughs> so you can read that. We have stop, dead slow, slow, steady, half, increase, <laughs> fast cruise, fast and full. Sure, and we only use our we only steady. use our full speed when we're actually racing another paddle wheeler. You race? Oh yeah. We've uh, we're currently undefeated in our racing schedule. Really? Yeah. We've raced the <laughs> we've raced the Delta Queen, the the uh, Julie Bell Swain, which used to uh, be you know our, be Peoria's boat. So racing speed would be. We, we can reach speeds of almost 15 miles an hour. Ooh, all right. <laughs> but just for a short time. <laughs> the boat so wasn't like, designed to run so that like speed. Just like Ben-Hur, you know, you kind of kind of edge the other guy off. The, oh, the yeah, river. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of riverboat techniques to win, uh, okay. win some races. Okay. Oh, can I do that? Yeah, you can go up. Yeah. Oh, hard, hard, hard. 
Really hard? Yeah, really hard. Really hard. <laughs> <laughs> that just woke up everybody downstairs. <laughs> what do you like best about your job? The view. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>I kind of wish that maybe I had gotten to drive the boat or you that would have been even better right well you have to have a special license to do this you can't just pick up the boat and drive it no I, I suppose not but back on the land what, el what else is going on in Peoria there's a couple movies opening this weekend uh, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds are in this romantic comedy called The Proposal where she makes him marry her so she can retain her visa or something like that it's supposed to be you know well, Light, you, fluffy. If you've seen a Sandra Bullock romantic comedy, this is the same thing. You've probably seen this before. Uh, and then we have a movie called Year One. This has Jack Black and Michael Sarah in it, and it's like a primitive comedy where they get kicked out of their village. At, you know, the hunting. It's a Stone Age time. Right. Right. So yeah. Jack Black does Stone Age stuff. Yes. Uh, I never got a sword. I only got the holder. I didn't know that. That's what it was for. If I want to go see a play this weekend, where should I go? Uh, well, you could try Eastlight Theater, where they're going to be performing The Wedding Singer, the Adam Sandler movie, only this is the musical version. That opens Friday night. Cornstock Theater Friday night has a very funny farce called Rumors. That should be worth seeing. And uh, there's a blood drive going on. Yes, if you're into music, uh, that happens on Tuesday, actually, next week. Uh, Mindset Evolution, a bunch of other bands are playing at the Civic Center. And if you give blood between 1 and 7 p.m., you get the concert for free, which starts at 4 and runs till 10, 10 p.m. <laughs> so you can uh, rock on and give blood. Exactly. And that's what's going on this week. Okay, that, that was a lot of fun, but I kind of wish we had let him... Uh, uh. I kind of wish, just say, I kind of wish I had asked to drive the boat. I kind of wish I'd let him let me drive the boat. I kind of wish I'd let him... Is that him how you write? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're taking my water away. What is this? <laughs> okay. You can't have any more water. Don't care. <laughs>